Why are we talking about duck donuts now? <laughs> Bracken comes on the show about weight loss, and we're talking about his favorite donut places. <laughs> well, you got to get mentally focused on, on what you can and can't have, right? But it's moderation. Moderation. You lost more than 100 pounds? More now. than 100 pounds, and have kept it off for over 20 years now. Wow. Yeah. What did you feel like back then? Heavy is an understatement. You know, every now, every year around my birthday, around this mm -hmm. past weekend was my birthday, I oh, take, thank you birthday. very much, I appreciate that. I take 100 pounds and carry it around just to feel uh, what it feels like again. Listen, we but got a picture, smart. I put it up. Yeah, you might want to uh, do it's a It's kind of unusual to see you one. with your shirt off there. <laughs> well, so it's so do you kind of, yes. Because this Where really tells a story of, no, the well, one with him, fat. No, the real good one. The real, there, 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 there it is. This is what... You yeah. don't, you like don't even weight, look like If you're going to the gym, I've seen guys in the gym that look like that. It's not like... Right. But, I mean, that picture is more or less like, what can you find wrong in this yeah. picture between the Ocean Pacific clock and the... And the box look and else. So, yeah, it really, I mean, it's, it was a huge change. I mean, that was me as a, as a sixth grade kid. So, it was... So, you it was were a little chubby. I was like I was. that. I was. Wore tough skins. Husky. Husky. Yes. yes. I, was, yeah, I wore I was husky, husky jeans. Right. Husky jeans. So, right. we're in that same club, right? Right. I still am. <laughs> <laughs> But you are not. <laughs> I, ha I am not. I so have, what I was that moment you go, I'm not doing this anymore? So I, so I was a football player in college and yeah. got to the point where I quit playing football but kept the eating habits. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you give up the workouts, you uh, give up all the running, and I got up to 260 pounds, and I didn't feel comfortable. I was constantly pulling my shirt off my body. Yeah. I, I just felt insecure and felt uncomfortable right. all the time. And I said, that's enough. I had my diet analyzed, really looked at the nutritional value of what I was doing, which was awful. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a shock that it was right. what it was. And really just had that analyzed. But it was just a moment where I said, I've had enough. I don't feel comfortable. I want to be happy. You talk about losing weight the right way. What do you mean by that? So really, I, th I look at it as a long-term investment. A lot of people will get into shakes and pills mm -hmm. and things like that. And, and everybody's a little bit different. So I'm not saying those are horrible right. things. But if you want to do it the right way, you want to make it a long-term investment. You want to include the habits in your lifestyle. They're going to allow you to sustain over time because mm -hmm. eating right has been historically here all along. Right. All those other things are, are, have been in a recent memory. Right? right. So it's doing the right things, doing the right nutritional math, and making sure that you're just eating healthy and having good portion control. It's also getting a good mental health uh, because a lot of people eat out of pain or to cover up mm -hmm. stuff. Yes. And, and you say you really have to have a mindset going into it. Right. That the mind comes first, then the habit. The mind, the mind is absolutely, actually, it's the mental part of weight loss is tougher than the physical part, I think, because mm -hmm. I've lived through it. And even, even though people will say, well, I hate working out, well, that's fine. But, you know, at the same time, I hate mentally challenging myself and mm -hmm. saying, I'm not good enough or this isn't good enough. I mean, you could work your tail off and still have that mental problem, mm -hmm. right. and it's never going to get better for you. So making sure that you're doing it for you, making sure that it's something that you are doing it to make yourself happy, starting there and understanding that you're not going to beat yourself up mm -hmm. along the way, you're going to be proud of your progress. That's the most important. So real quick, let's circle back to our opening conversation about mm -hmm. the donut, because it ties in. You can still have donuts. Exactly. You could, I had duck donuts for my birthday. Yeah. I mean, duck, uh, it, you can have those things. You don't have to mm -hmm. punish yourself in this. It's a reward. But it's all portion control. Now, you know, as much as I would love to eat a box of duck donuts, is that a good idea? No. no. Having one, is that a bad idea? No. It's, it's good to reward mm -hmm. yourself. It's good to understand that you're not punishing yourself throughout this process. Good deal. You can get more tips from Rich on his podcast as well as on social media. He posts great photos yes. Thank on you. Instagram. I love your workout photos. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. He has I, try, I try to motivate you. Yes. All of it I on his website. I sit there and look website. at it and thought, I wish I looked like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not giving up my donuts. <laughs> no, just have one. Yes. Go to richbracken.com. But I do not know a person who can eat just one piece really? of pizza. Really? No. 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 Unless it's like one of those giant, giant. slices. <laughs> 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 Michelle.